What's up you guys? It's your man Frosty Kool Aid and it is Morphin Time Doe. As you can see by the title, I have a new way to play Pokemon. Not a Nuzlocke. Not a Nuzlocke variant. A new way to play in general. Now there are like two things that are similar to a Nuzlocke. But other than that, it's not a Nuzlocke at all. Trust me, trust me, it's not a Nuzlocke. It's very different. It's a very different gameplay style and all that good fun stuff. It's not the same as a Nuzlocke. So I know a lot of people were talking about they didn't want to play Nuzlocke anymore. They, they didn't want to come up with new Nuzlocke variants because at the end of the day, it was just kind of like the same thing. So I figured, why not come up with a new get way to play Pokemon in general? And that's what I did with the Egg Group Challenge. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into the rules of the Egg Group Challenge. But before I do that, like button, please hit that. Subscribe button, please hit that. Comment section, please let me know what you think in the comment section of this, this challenge, this new gameplay style. If you like it, um, try it out though before you, you play it because I tried it out and I, I think it's pretty good. I think it could, be, it could be successful in the future. And also don't forget to share the video because we want everyone to see this, all the Pokemon community to see this. And to know that, hey, there's a new way to play Pokemon. So, with that said and done, let's go ahead and hop into the rules. So, with rule number one, we got the objective. And the objective is to try and catch a Pokemon from every egg group and complete the game having a Pokemon from every egg group. You know, some egg groups are something that a lot of people don't really know about. They know Pokemon, they know typings, they know evolution lines, they may even know species, but a lot of people don't know egg groups. And I was like, you know, that's not something you ever really hear about very often. So why not come up with a challenge involving egg groups and putting emphasis on egg groups? So not only is playing it like a new way to play Pokemon, but also it's kind of a learning experience. It's kind of interesting to see where egg groups of Pokemon is from. And then you all call yourselves Pokemon Master. Well, if you know where the Pokemon egg groups are, you are real Pokemon Master because that's that's hard to learn. But if you learn, hey, you are the Pokemon Master. You're the greatest. You want to be the very best, then you're the very best. Rule number two, if a Pokemon is from multiple egg groups, it can only be used from one egg group. That's pretty simple. I just wanted to make it a bit challenge, more challenging, should I say. So I decided to do it. If it's from multiple egg groups, only you only get one egg group. Sorry, buddy. I'm trying to make it difficult out here in the streets. This ain't no hard ranked. This is extra hard ranked. This ain't all star. This is Hall of Fame. That's the difficulty for this, Hall of Fame. So again, rule number two, if it's from different ones, you only get it for one egg group. Sorry. Rule number three, you can only catch one Pokemon from an egg group per route. What I mean by that is you can go to any route and you can find any Pokemon you want. You don't have a one look, one catch type like rule or anything like that. You can find as many Pokemon as you want in that route. However, you can only catch one of those Pokemon. You only get the one catch rule, but you can look for any Pokemon you need. So let's say you have a Pokemon in one egg group, but you need one from a different egg group. Well, you just look in that grass and you look to see if you can find it. Now, now, here's the catch. Here's the catch. If you run into a Pokemon that's from your egg group, guess what? The route is off, not the route, the route is off limits. It's, it's off limits. You can't, you can't look there anymore. So let's say you had a Charmander and a Trico, because I'm pretty sure they're from the same egg group. Let's say you have a Trico and you look... You're looking for something, you're looking for like a water egg group Pokemon and then you find Charmander. Well guess what, that route becomes off limits to you. And so you can't look there for any more Pokemon and you have to move on. You have to move on. Rule number four, if a Pokemon faints in battle, then the Pokemon is dead. However, that is, that is something that's similar to a Nuzlocke. But listen to my however, if you beat a gym leader, you can revive one Pokemon for every gym leader beat. However, 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 <laughs> if you that, that Pokemon dies against one gym leader, then you have to wait to the next gym leader to revive that. That just just to clear that notification up. But let's say you die in a route before you face the gym leader, and then you can definitely go if you beat the gym leader, then you can revive that Pokemon or any Pokemon in your box. It doesn't have to be the one that just died. You can revive any Pokemon per gym leader beat. Rule number five, if you reach the Pokemon League and you haven't caught a Pokemon from every egg group that is still alive, of course, then the challenge is over. So basically, if you lose a Pokemon from an egg group and it's dead, unless you revive it, then you need to catch another Pokemon from that egg group. Because if you reach the Pokemon League and the champion, now this is excluding Hard Gold Soul Server, which you get two regions, or like a ROM hack to two regions, but if you reach like the end of the game and you don't have one from every like um, egg group, then sorry it sounds like it's it's over like you the game is over so it's kind of like a luck based challenge in a way hoping that the game doesn't do you dirty and gives you routes full of different egg group type pokemon that way you can definitely complete the challenge by the time you face the elite four and the champion rule number six whiting out and blacking out doesn't result in a game over unless you have no pokemon in the box that's kind of like 
that's pretty simple. Like that goes for anything. I mean, if you have Pokemon in the box, then you're not done. But if you don't have any in the box, like let's say you have zero and everyone else is dead, then I'm sorry, game over. Rule number seven, the Ditto group is not required because Ditto has his own group. I was like, that's kind of a douche move to make everyone have to go and get a Ditto because you're probably not going to run into Ditto, to be honest. So what I decided to do is you can use Ditto to replace any other egg group. So let's say you had, what, like, how many egg groups are there? Like 18, I think. Let's say you had 17 out of the 18. Last route, you run into a Ditto. Well, guess what? You can catch that Ditto and use it as your last, like, egg group capture. You can use it as your last egg group capture. And then kind of the, the, the last few rules, in-game trades and gifts Pokemon can be used if you want them to be used, and randomizing the gameplay is optional whether you want that. Those are kind of optional rules. If you don't want to use in-game trades or gift Pokemon, then you don't have to, but I mean, they're definitely available to you for your use. That's just depending on how difficult you want the game to be. Okay, with all that said and done, that is the Egg Group Challenge. A pretty simple challenge. I'll have the rules in the description if you don't like want to watch the video again. I'll have it so you can read them there. If you have any questions, you know, contact me. You know, if you think it's a good idea, bad idea, let me know. If you think it's a bad idea, don't don't hate on me though. Just say, hey, I think you could have done this better or something like that. Because if you hate, bro, well, why hate? Why can't we all be friends? You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to help the community in general. But that's all I have for this video. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. Also, don't forget to share, subscribe, and uh, comment down below your thoughts. But till next time, you guys, it's been your man, Frosty Blade. I'm out. Peace.